Hey again, YouTubers, this is Noah from Elementor. Have you ever wanted to creatively display an icon along with a heading and caption? Well, today I'll show you how with the icon box widget. So first, I'll search for the widget and drag it in. And once it's dragged into place, you will see the content and style tabs. In the content area, you have full control over the widget's content. Here you have view, where you could set the view of the icon as default, stacked, or framed. Stacked is with a background and framed is with a frame surrounding the icon. Next, you could choose an icon. Here you have a list from the Fun Awesome website. It's a rather long list and you could choose whichever icon you want. Then you have the title and description where you could insert the title and description that will go along with your icon. You could also insert a link and you have an option to open the link in a new tab by clicking here. Next, you have the icon position where you could set the position of the icon on the left, top, or right. And you have the title HTML tag where you could choose the title's tag as heading, div, span, or paragraph. Moving on to the style tab. Here you have full control over the styles of the widget's icon, icon hover, and contents. In the icon style options, you have the primary color, which note that if you choose a stacked or framed icon, then you will also have a secondary color. So here for the primary color, you could choose the color of the icon, say pink. And you have the icon spacing, where you could choose the space between the icon and the contents. You have the icon size which as it sounds is the size of the icon. And you have icon rotate where you could completely rotate the icon. Next, we have the icon hover style options where you could choose the primary color for the hover. For instance, if I set it as pink, as you can see, it turns to pink. And I have the animation for the icon hover. I could choose from this long list of animations, such as shrink or pop. See that? Next, we'll move on to the content style options. Here I have the alignment as left, center, right, or justified. Now note that the alignment is also for the icon and not only for the contents. Then I have the vertical alignment as top, middle, or bottom. Next, I have the style options for the title and the, and the description of the content. So first, I have the title spacing, where I could set the space between the title and the description. And I have the title color of the title. and topography, which I could choose as default or customize it, where it opens many options for topography, such as size, you could choose the size of the title, family, weight, transform style, line height, and letter spacing. All right. Next, I have the description style options. Here I have the description color, where I could choose the color, and topography, same as the options that we had for the title. Now I'll show you a few features that will emphasize how cool this widget is. As you can see, this icon box, its icon is displayed as stacked, meaning it has a background. Now, to give this neat inner space between the icon and the edge of the background, I headed over to the Style tab, the Icon Style Options, and Icon Size and Icon Padding. So, you see, as I change the icon size and its padding, it gives a really neat space between the two of them. Next, I'll show you this icon box, which is also a stacked icon, meaning with a background. However, note how its border, the icon's border, is a bit rounded. Here I shaped it as a square, 
I'll show you. You see it's shaped as a square. And then I went over to the style tab, icon style options, and in the border radius, I set it as six. Say if I give it 50, it's completely rounded or 10. So I give it six. And now that we're already talking about this layout for the icon box widget, now I'll show you the vertical alignment feature that we went over before in the content style options. So we head over to the content style options over here. And here, as you can see, we have the vertical alignment feature. And now watch what it does when I choose middle or bottom or top. So then I could do this, set it as middle alignment, then head over to the icon style options up here, set the icon spacing a bit, say 35, and give it an icon size of say 65. See that? All right, so with this widget, you could add many interesting icon boxes to your page without too many adjustments. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.